Since we've updated to 1.18, we've looked at the surface, but not so much the caves. I think it's time to do that today on Minecraft School. Our objectives are, number one, find and explore the new caves, two, learn about the new ore distribution, and three, find an amethyst geode. And we're going to jump straight into our comment of the video. This is from, I, I'm i sorry if I mispronounce it, Kuwu, uh, Kuwu I guess, uh, it says, at 424, there is a geode at the end of that little tunnel. And you're right. So, I did check, and there was some smooth basalt. Now, this is such an easy geode to get to. We're going to have an amethyst farm, I guess. Uh, very, very simple. So, I'm just going to head right down there. So, right through this tuff here. Just come right down here and look at that. What is that? That is smooth basalt. Let's just dig around here a little bit, see where it goes. So it looks like, uh, let's see, there's the calcite. All right, so we're gonna dig in here. We might even use some calcite. Look at that, it, it, it goes down. Okay, so we need to uh, get down there in a bit safer manner. Let's see if I can do that here. All right, looks like we can break in here. Try not to break any of the budding amethyst blocks. And look at this. And it opens up into, well, not, not much of anything over there. Let me just light this up because we don't want this to be dark in here. It doesn't go into a cave at all. Nice. So this is totally enclosed. And that is going to make it so easy for us to come down here and gather some amethyst. As you can see, we have a very nicely formed one. It's pretty big. And these blocks, or these blocks right here, are the budding amethyst blocks. Do not break them. You cannot recreate them. You cannot move them. They will just disappear. These ones you can take. That's fine. And right here, this is... There we go. I got it. So take a look. That is an amethyst shard. So you can see I also have block of amethyst here. The amethyst blocks, you can see, just listen. A little bit of music. I'm not sure if it's uh, too quiet for you. But um, as you can see, these don't really have anything on them. They will just be used for decoration. But these blocks we're going to use to grow amethyst shards and amethyst shards can be used in a few ways uh, and i'm going to demonstrate it as soon as i grab all the full ones here well it turns out we have a lack of fully grown amethyst crystals here so what we can do is actually encourage more to grow by digging out the amethyst around these so that they can grow on all sides. So as you can see, they have this X pattern on all sides. And uh, got to be careful. Don't want to break any of the uh, other blocks. I mean, the uh, budding blocks definitely don't. So that is one thing you can do. But uh, we're going to leave that project for another time. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to smelt these two raw copper. I really don't need much in here so i'm uh, just gonna get this okay we got our copper ingots next all we need to do is place two copper ingots here and an amethyst shard here and we've got our spyglass for the first time now if you have optifine you're going to be able to zoom anyways but let's compare them because there is a bit of a difference so with optifine uh, i'm just going to zoom in and i can see that close now with this, I'm going to right click and it seems closer, doesn't it? It is. So the zoom is even better and it's easier to control than Optifine zoom, which is eh, kind of drifty. But try this. You can double it. You can do both Optifine zoom and the spyglass at the same time and have ultra long distance zoom. We've made our way to the area that's supposed to be our copper farm with this weird double portal, which I really do need to fix. 
and we're going to be heading off in that direction. Now we have not explored in that direction, so we should be finding some new chunks or 1.18 terrain generation fairly quickly. At least I hope so. Well, I'm back. Actually, I traveled around 5,000 blocks and I didn't really find an appropriate cave entrance. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different, but um, take a look at what I did discover. Some of it's quite nice. This is actually a rather beautiful, if a little bit chaotic, terrain. Very nice. We've got a uh, flower forest here. We found ocean, and that is definitely new terrain generation. If I were to start over, I would definitely be building in this area. This is amazing. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that cave openings are a little difficult to find in this world. In my other Let's Play, which uh, recently started, I can find many, many cave openings very easily. So I made my way out, and we're in this amazing valley. Wow, we found a dripstone cave. I think we found something. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a very large cave. I doesn't seem to be. Actually, it looks almost like a dead end. Okay, then. I should have kept going. I was just over there. We have a much bigger entrance right down here. So let's see what's down here, huh? It looks like... Um, it doesn't open up into a large chamber, though. Hmm. I'm just wondering how far this goes back. And if it does go back pretty far and there's a way down, that is excellent. And that is not what I meant to do. It's actually a ravine, it looks like. I searched and searched until I found this village. And you know what? Then I found this insane opening. Look at down here. This is not one of the, uh, the new biomes. Not lush caves, not dripstone caves, but look at that. This drops down really far. It's not a giant chamber, but it is something that could be explored. But it is almost suicide to go down there. It is dangerous. And now it's time for your pop quiz. Number one, do you find the new caves to be more difficult or easier? And number two, do you prefer the lush or dripstone caves? Let me know in the comment section below. So we're back down here in the amethyst geode, and I just decided, why not tunnel in that direction? We'll see where we come out. I'm curious if we're going to run into a, a cave, and if we do, then that is great. So let's go, and you know what? We're going to get a bunch of deep slate while we do this, as well as ores, which is a bonus. Absolutely. All right, I heard a zombie, and that must mean there's a cave nearby. I'm going to keep going, just, you know, just in case. It's actually right in front of me. Who knows? Whoa. Oh, that was tough. That was, that's much, much easier to break. And I hear them. I can hear them. That's for sure. Hey, 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 hey. We got a cave. We got a cave. But the question is, oh, it's big. Okay, we have found our big cave. Now this is um, a time when we want to run quickly and light up as much as we can. And be very careful because, heh, we got these guys right there. Hello, zombie. There's actually a good number, maybe. Okay, any more? <laughs> I don't see any. All right, so let's get going. We have a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, lush caves. <laughs> Immediately, lush cave. Okay, let's let's light everything up around here. Uh, the good thing is we don't have to use many torches because the area that the light covers is fairly large. And uh, you know what that means? We're not going to run out. Probably not. I see a few mobs. There's some skeletons in there. So we're going to take care of them, hopefully. Take care of a few things around here. But look at that. Lush caves. And there's a spore blossom up there, too. Excellent. 
Okay, I'm just going to make sure all of this is uh, nicely lit up. And it looks like that area is fine because that's lava. And of course, I look down in this hole and I see there's diamonds right there. That's something I'm definitely looking for. So let me grab that because I want it. Since I've got fortune, this should get me a good number, hopefully. No one's coming. I don't think so. All right. And it looks like we've got just a vein of two, maybe. Looks like it. All right. Nothing else down here. Nope. All right. This is lucky start. So let's not fall in any holes. Hello. What are you doing here? Goodbye. All right, there is a path going up there, I think. So I'm going to head up there and hopefully survive this. That's deep. Don't go down there. Hello. Gotcha. Hey, guys, come on down. Got a few of these coming down here, huh? Okay, let's just get this all lit up. I see... Oh, that's drip leaf up there. Nice. More diamonds. You know what? This is going to be a pretty successful trip, I think. Plenty of diamonds around here. Hello. Uh, no, you can go away. You can definitely go away. Hello. <laughs> uh, I really don't want that, that guy exploding. Hello. Hello. Anyone here? Okay. Well, we should probably try to get through. That is quite the view down there. And axolotl. Interesting. What are you doing up here? Ah, there is a pool of water. So we've now made our way into a tunnel. Now I'm going to... Uh, actually, I should probably collect all of the... The ores back here, that would have been a good idea because there is diamond down there. But I am going to be coming back in this direction anyways, so I can grab them on my way back. I'm going to light up all of these tunnels that I'm going through. That way I know where I've come from and I know how to get back. And it'll make it so much easier. And... Uh, <laughs> creeper just blew up on me. And I wasn't recording. Oh well. I think he came out of here. Quite possibly. But uh, you'll find that there are little crevices all over the place. Make sure you're looking around and lighting up these spots. Very important that you do that. But again, you don't have to light up a huge amount. Because they only spawn at light level zero. No one? No one? Okay. It looks like we've got a big chamber coming up, I hope. But uh, there's just a few mobs in the way. But this is actually quite ideal. There's not much, not much space for anyone to be uh, spawning in, so it's reasonably safe. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Goodbye, goodbye. There's someone over there. It looks like we've got quite a few over there. So this is a good time to just run through and spam. Th oh, oh my. <laughs> that was uh, a bit of a surprise. There's uh, also an Enderman in there, which is not a good thing. Don't want to look at him because I'm I'm surely gonna die. That is a lot of mobs, and this is a fairly large chamber as well. So this is one of those places where you just oh jeez okay where did you come from? This, <laughs> this is one of those places where you really want to pay attention to what's around you. Come on. No, I should be using my uh, shield, but thankfully I've got plenty of protection on me. Hey, you. 
One thing you want to be careful about is the fact that mobs are much more likely to spawn in dark areas. So the more you light up, the dark areas are going to be crowded with mobs. Very unsafe. That's why you want to go around quickly. And boy, are we going to get a lot of XP. Let's, uh, let's light up as much as we can. We got so many mobs in here. As we get chased by skeletons. You can be quite methodical when you're lighting up this area. I just take it in small chunks at a time. And I am actually starting to get low on... Uh, that guy just spooked me. I'm starting to get low on torches. And let's get these guys. And light this area up as quickly as we can. Because we don't want any more spawning over there. Oh, come on. Hit him. See? More just spawned right there. Okay. Let's get this area lit up here. Hello, Enderman. Don't mind me. Just just uh, coming around here and trying not to disturb you. Okay, there we go. And this corner too. Don't forget to eat. Oh, there's a... There's a geode right there. Oh, jeez. Hello. <laughs> you scared me. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm being hunted now by quite a few of these guys. For those of you who are afraid of going into these caves, remember, it's just a game. You're not really going to get hurt in real life. <laughs> but yeah, I know, for some people this can be a bit scary. It's a huge area, and... Look at how many mobs there are. It's like hunting at night, you know? But at least in here... We can get this cleared out. Holy crap! <laughs> Hello. Um, where are you guys coming from? Someone's coming after me. Where are you? There you are. Hey, you. I can't hit you. <laughs> okay, there is some place up here that's spawnable. Let me just light this up here. I bet it's up there. In that corner maybe? Ah, uh, maybe over here. I think this could be it. But yeah, you want to make sure that you are lighting up as much as you can so that you don't have any spawnable areas. And I think I am going to miss a few spots here and there. I think we're doing a pretty good job of lighting it up now. I don't see too many around here. Uh, there is a creeper over there. There's a bunch up here, that's that's for sure. But uh, this is a lot easier when you've got fewer spaces for them to spawn. Oh, and um, there's actually quite a few coming after me right there. We've got four. Hey. Goodbye. We've got... Hey, you. We got another zombie over here. I think we've got a creeper over here. Yep. And as you can see, this... Ah, oh, there's more stuff way up there. We've got... different levels in here. And that, that can be dangerous. Be very careful because you can have mobs just drop down from up there. As you can see, that uh, spider just did. And... Where are you? There you are. Ooh. Oh, great. Um, babies. <laughs> we got babies. Hello. I don't like you guys. You can you can just go away. All right. Oh, they are the worst. The absolute worst to see. Especially if you're being chased by two of them. Don't want that. So, yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot of uh, mobs dropping down from above. And that's that's going to make this area a little more difficult. And uh, huh, goodbye, bat. 
We are starting to run out of food as well, but a lot of this has been lit up and I'm just going to continue lighting up as much as I can. We're going into a bit of dangerous territory up here, being chased by a very slow zombie villager, which is fine. Whoa, okay, there's a lot over there. We have creepers over here too. That's not good. Hello, hello, goodbye. <laughs> ah, this is great. This really can get your uh, adrenaline going. And these caves show why I love the bow so much. If this guy would stop moving, that would be great. There we go. Got so much more to light up and I'm running out of torches. Okay, that area up there is quite impressively large, and I'm unsure if I'm going to be able to get all of that lit up. Oh! Whoa! Okay! Ah! Uh, I did not see that creeper. Uh, gee! <laughs> Let me go and heal up here. That was, um, that was a little careless of me. Be a little careful, huh? Okay, I'm now being chased. I'm just placing torches. This is an effective way of getting around and uh, avoiding being killed. Just run. Just run, you know? That should work. <laughs> and then get yourself to a safer spot and turn and fight. Whoa! You... You have some kind of potion on you. All right, I am being chased by a lot of these guys. Let's let's start fighting. Ah, time for um, a little more food. I am running out of food, and honestly, yeah, I'm out of food. So what I'm going to do now, I've got quite a bit of this area lit up. I really don't need to be carrying all this stuff. What I'm going to do is go all through here and any areas where it's lit up and there are ores, I'm going to pick up the ores and also go through this and figure out what I want to keep. I don't want the flint. Uh, the flint can just go away. Um, don't need the rotten flesh either or the string. What I am looking for is not gravel either. So I want to find mainly redstone and uh, iron and diamonds. So let's go search and see what we get. So what we found here is a pretty good vein. Eh, it's not too big. Sometimes you'll find these huge veins of ores, which is absolutely amazing when you do find them. And definitely keep looking. Like some things like uh, diamonds, you may have to do a lot of digging they usually don't appear in large quantities on the surface and yeah it's it's gonna be a little bit harder to find them uh, now we're getting some copper now I'm going to have uh, oh I have too much stuff so I'm going to have to figure out what to get rid of and I think the leather sacrificing the leather so I'm going to have a graphic up on the screen which will show you where ores are normally found. I showed it in the last episode, so you should have seen that already if you've been following the series. But uh, just, oh, there's a dark spot. Great, I missed a spot. Hey, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to have to light that up. Another good thing about this area is that uh, you're going to find a lot of building material. So deep slate, tough. Tough is something I want to start using. And it goes along pretty well with uh, things like cobblestone and using it in roads is great. But using it as an alternative to things like cobblestone, is it, it looks really good. All right, so we're going to take our leave from this cave. I didn't get all the ores. I only got some redstone. I got some gold. But we're going to return to the surface and uh, count how much we got. All right, we're home. So let's take a look at our treasures. We got 18 diamonds. Not too bad. 
just 19 copper oh, we didn't see much of that anyways 22 gold it is iron we've got 64 and 33 so one and a half stacks I was kind of running out of space here uh, we also got more than one and a half stacks of redstone so that was actually a very very quick and short caving session uh, it you would probably want to explore that whole system a lot more than I did but uh, I was actually out of food and I do need to get more food now I can really utilize this so let's uh, get this started I I don't think I have enough coal but hey so let's uh, drop our copper in here gold in here and all this iron up in there hopefully uh, hold on hold on let's let's take half of this and half of this and just stick it in this one I think that'll be more evenly distributed ah look at it come in I love a good super smelter it's time for your homework I'd like you to take a screenshot of the caves you discovered in your world and post it on my discord server in the homework channel do you find the new caves more frightening than before let me know in the comments below check out the playlist on the right if you want to see more minecraft school videos subscribe and like if you enjoy what you see we'll see you next time bye bye